Hello and welcome everyone. If you want to create great looking trees for your games which sway in the wind and the leaves flutter and all that awesome sweetness then you're at the right place. I will show you how to create photorealistic trees using the free software Treeit. It can be used with any game engine or 3D application. In this part I will show you how to basically use this software and get started to create amazing trees. In the next part I will actually create the tree and export it. In the last two parts, I will focus on how to make it work with Unreal Engine. For Unreal, I will assume intermediate knowledge so you already know how to create a basic level in Unreal and can work with mesh and materials. I created a workflow to create trees in this Unreal project. A link to this project can be found in the description if you want to have a closer look. The finished tutorial project can also be downloaded from the link in the description below. If you get stuck somewhere, it can help. The download has the full Unreal Engine 5.1 project as well as the exported trees. So if you don't want to use Treat and are only interested in learning how to set up trees in Unreal Engine, you can already start start from part 3 and part 4 and use the exported trees from the download. So let's start. To download the software, head to its website link is in the description and you can either use the installer or just download the zip and extract it somewhere and run it from there. One heads up if you install it it might complain on windows for unverified source but it's just a warning and you can continue it didn't harm at least my computer in any way. Huge thanks to the creator of this software who provided it free of cost and you can use it in any commercial or private project. The download will already contain some sample tree projects if you want more you can download some more samples from the website or you can even buy some tree packs from sketchfab and this will support the developer too you can start the software by running the tree it executable in the installed or the extracted directory i will now go over the basic controls of the software but first let's open a sample tree so go to file open and it shows you already the path of the library that comes with the software it's in the install directory and the trees folder go to the date palm folder and open this date palm.tre the viewport controls are simple enough use the left mouse button to rotate right mouse button to pan and the middle mouse button to zoom to change camera from perspective to orthographic you can can use these buttons this F is for front S for side and T for top it's also possible to toggle the wireframe the vertex colors the animation and the lighting along with the grid unfortunately the software has very little documentation available so to keep the tutorial short I won't go over all the settings it has to offer but I will try to cover everything needed to get started and create amazing trees so I apologize in advance if I miss anything so let's start with a new empty project go to file new tree yes let's go to the trunk and set up some basic properties for it if you go down you will find the trunk length you can increase it as you want you can also play with the radius also add some radius noise to it if you go a little bit down then there is this crinkleness that you can set up to create a more interesting looking shape let's turn this back off if you want to apply textures to it then just go to this texture area and load texture and you can load a texture you can use the textures already provided so go to this park and let's use this palm texture palm 01 it also has a normal load that one as well and roughness and if you create ok then you will see that the texture is applied to create some branches go to this branch tab and increase this counter to add some branches to the tree to create sub branches increase this counter you can play with the length the radius and basically a lot of properties that you can work with to create the kind of tree that you like 
I don't need branches for this tree so I will turn it back down. To add leaves to your tree go to the leaf tab and increase this count. If you have some branches you will see that the leaves are added to those branches. For starters I will reduce the leaf count to 1 to first get the basic leaf shape that I want. As I am trying to create a palm tree so the leaves should look something like that. So let's start with the segments. So I will put the value 12 here and sites 4. And by the way, these two values define the density of the mesh and they are present in branch as well as the trunk tab. So you can use it to optimize your mesh. If you turn on wireframe, you can see how this property directly affects the density of the mesh and this will then affect the quality and performance can be fine tuned from these. So I will now go to the scale part and set the length to 240 and width to 145 and I will also increase the length increment to 140 and width increment to 80. Let's now go to the distortion part and in this bend mode change bend min to minus 40 and max to minus 40 as well. Set leave turn mode to randomize turn minimum to minus 25 turn max to 25 bend turn curvature to 20 and by the way these properties i just know the values because i played around with it a lot to prepare for this tutorial as well as i got a good look at the samples provided for this leaf side bend mode set the mode to randomize and bend start to minus 25 and you see that the leaf is bending in the middle just like a palm leaf should change the minimum to 18 not minus and maximum to 54 bend inverse to 40 here side turn to 51 and side turn ends to 36 so the ends will turn like this it looks a little wider than i hope but we will fix it let's now add the textures to it and the texture that we will use is in the sample date palm tree folder so use this date palm leaf one and also the corresponding normal and roughness and transmission so let's set it this is the roughness and the transmission okay let's turn off the wireframe for now and check this vertical wrap okay so now let's decrease the width a little bit in the scale as we know that the date palm has all the trees at the top so to change the position of the leaves go to the leaf position rollout let's increase this position minimum to take the leaf to the top and then this step frequency and target frequency this will affect it when we have more than one leaf so let's add more leaves to the tree just increase the leaf count and it will randomly distribute the leaves in the position that we have defined let's change this back faces to double sided so that they look a little more solid go to the orientation tab and change the leaf pivot a little bit and also change this pitch a bit let's change this yaw okay so now they look a little better distributed and this roll let's see what effect does it have mm, okay one more thing that i can show you is that if you go to this tree tab there is this poly reduction sliders tree and for leaf and if you turn on your wireframe you can see the effect that they can quickly reduce your geometry mesh detail so you can also use them to configure your performance parameters so this was it for this short introduction to tree it as you have seen it's jam-packed with features and you can customize the hell out of any tree and get to the shape that you want in my experience the ui is not perfect but it's still pretty good and does its job really well i found that it is never crashed and is pretty stable i will recommend however to save frequently as is true for any other 3d software one thing that i found out was that whenever i hibernate and come back 
and turn on my computer then it always crashed so be sure to save it if you also hibernate your computer in the next part i will show a better way to create a tree with tree it and export it to be used with unreal engine or any other dcc of your choice thanks for watching if you have any more questions leave them in the comments and i will try to answer please like the video and subscribe to my channel to give me some motivation to create more videos like this